Waking up to snow is such an exciting thing. It feels like I'm a kid in school again, and I'm like, oh my god, is class canceled? Ah, the daring Arctic explorer, braving the frozen north. Go forth, great adventurer. I've got some laundry going. I went yesterday and got the remainder of my filler dissolved under my eyes and I'm having a little bit of a situation under this eye like eczema and whatnot. Kat, my amazing makeup artist, cam artistry, told me to get this and I will buy anything she tells me to and she said that this is really good for under your eyes for like eczema and super dry skin and super sensitive skin so and it's just like a thick almost like balm texture that's what we'll put under our eyes for now you could definitely see where the filler was dissolved yesterday but luckily i don't have much to do today it's okay if i look a little beat up no one punched me in the face just filler dissolved shall we make a coffee first we'll do a little water refill hydrate before you dehydrate coffee these two my favorite creamer at the moment. It's definitely more caramel than chocolate, but I really like it. Cheers. Big coffee for a snow day. It's gonna be a great day. I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. Very fitting for the start of the new year. I feel like the start of the new year is like the perfect opportunity to be like, I wanna work on myself. I wanna make myself better. You know, we've been talking about like, goals and honestly like self-esteem a lot of like therapy themes here on this channel and after i posted one of my last vlogs a lot of you guys are like girl you gotta go back to therapy i know it was on my goals list for the year is to go back to therapy because i feel like you might think like oh i don't have any like major thing i want to work through in therapy or like oh i think i'm doing fine but i, I truly do feel like everyone could benefit from therapy better help makes starting therapy a little less intimidating and just overall easier for a lot of people better help lets you have your therapy sessions from the comfort of your own home you could do a video call a phone call or even like a text chat better help can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network and this is really cool because based on your needs and like their specialties they could really match you up well and I feel like if you live somewhere where therapy might not be that accessible to you and the options are limited BetterHelp is great because they can match you with someone who who gets it you'll be matched with a therapist in most cases within 48 hours you could schedule therapy sessions at a time that is most convenient to you finding a therapist that's a good fit is really crucial to the process and that it's just someone that you feel comfortable with. So if you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit, you could actually switch therapists at no additional cost. This is also really great because I feel like breaking up with your therapist is so uncomfortable. A lot of people like push that off. I know me included, but with BetterHelp, you could literally just do it with the click of a button. So you can join the over 4 million people who have used BetterHelp to start living a happier and healthier life. So you can click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Michio. Clicking that link helps support me and this channel. It also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. Once again, that's betterhelp.com slash Michio. I will, of course, leave the link down below. I think therapy is a good goal for us in 2024. We're going back to therapy. I need to change out of pajamas because otherwise I will just stay in these pajamas all day. And while that's cute and cozy, I just feel like I am like homesick from school or something when I stay in my pajamas all day. So let's put on something that's like in between. My closet is a mess. I have like a bag of clothing donations in here. How about like a cute cozy sweater? Maybe leggings or I don't know, like a loose pant. I just have this basic sweater. All right, I'm getting middle schooler with this look. And I was rolling my face. This is cute. This is cute and cozy sweater. It's from Free People. I'm gonna bring in all my laundry from the dryer and put it on my bed. I have to fold it. I don't know why I made it so that I have to do it in one load. That is just not, not the move. So many socks. Put on a little bit of makeup and just touched up my hair with the Dyson, but she's been in her cooking era. I don't know if we're out with that word era, but I still like it, so. She's in her cooking era. I was doing a ton of HelloFresh and I still have some HelloFresh leftovers. Yesterday I made spicy vodka pasta. I posted it on my TikTok and honestly, I ate so much of it. It was definitely like three servings. I probably have one serving left because I just couldn't stop eating it. These caraway um, containers are so great. I really like them. 
for food storage. Oh my gosh, bomb, so good. I'm thinking we're gonna make chicken cutlets. Embracing my Italian heritage. I was thinking about just like foods that I like to eat and stuff and I really don't love cooking meat. I always am convincing myself that it's underdone. I have a meat thermometer, I use it. I just, something about it. But I'm thinking that like a fried chicken cutlet, now is it the healthiest? No, but who cares? Um, I really wanna like perfect that recipe because I feel like on top of a salad, with a pasta dish, with a vegetable, like a good chicken cutlet. It's such a staple growing up in an Italian household. If you know, you know. So I'm going to try to make like a version of my family's recipe later today. In the meantime, I did a Wegmans order. Got a bunch of stuff. And this little berry tray, I actually didn't even order this. I just ordered like a thing of berries. And you know, sometimes like on Instacart, they replace with whatever they feel could be replaceable. And this is so cute. Like all the different berries. And the blueberries are huge. Mm. I can't decide what I want to do about working out right now. It's so cold and like actively snowing and raining. Like I don't want to go outside. I could use the gym in my building. Maybe I'll do that later. I'll do like a little cardio session or something. I made this taco soup. It's like a turkey taco soup. That is what I'm going to eat for lunch and then we'll make the chicken cutlets at dinner. Chicken cutlets. This is actually great. I haven't ordered Uber Eats in like a week, which I know you guys are probably like, wow, that's not anything revolutionary, but for me it is. For me, that's a really big accomplishment that I've been cooking at home and eating all my meals at home for a week. Like that's over a week, really. I went to dinner with Ben's family one night, I guess, but then he cooked. This made a huge batch. This was from HelloFresh. All right, I'm going to heat it up in the microwave. I always like to eat like a taco-like soup with tortilla chips. It's like a thicker soup, almost like a chili. I like to eat that with tortilla chips. It just makes it a little more fun. Even if I just crush them and put them on top, I'm like, oh, it makes it a little more fun. We're being healthy and cooking at home. Well, the health is debatable, but we're saving money. One of my big goals for the year in my saving money era, so cooking at home and doing all this is great. All right. Yeah, it's good. I also want to finish the book I'm reading today because I want to talk about it on the podcast tomorrow in general. It's a little slow right now, but I'm hoping that it improves because I do like it overall. It needs to pick up. Reading on my Kindle, I do really like it. It's my third book on the of the year, so I'm like on track. Maybe I'll read some physical books. Like I feel like right now would be the perfect time to like, you know, it's snowing outside. Oh, it's band practice time. Yeah, there's a band that lives above me now. Now, the good news is they're actually good. They're really good. But at the end of the day, a band's a band. I thought that they actually sounded so good that I thought that it was like just music playing out loud. I mentioned something to my doorman. I was like, just like out of curiosity, like the people that live upstairs, do they have a band? And he was like, yes, yes, they do. It's just like two o'clock on a Tuesday. And they're having band practice. I think they all live together. And I guess I would prefer for band practice to be at 2 p.m. in the afternoon versus like 10 o'clock at night. Love it. It's the mix between the band upstairs, the sirens, the honking, and the construction outside. I'm ready to go. I feel like I am ready for a move. My lease isn't up until October, but like I just am at that point where I'm like ready to go. I feel like I could hear it more in here. Once again, sounds very pleasant. I like the, I like this type of music, but my question is how loud, I wonder how loud it has to be because I feel like I generally have like pretty thick walls in this apartment. Like I really don't hear a ton unless people are having like a party. So it must be pretty loud, right? But I guess band practice is like crank up the volume boys. And this is how we are setting the vibe for our hibernation era. Take note, we have on manifestation music. You can just find it on Spotify. I just found a playlist. It was like beats manifestation beats or something. You can look up what you specifically want if you want like love manifestation or like success or whatever. It's just like pleasant frequency noises. I have on the fire, the crackling fireplace, but this is peak cozy. We have our candlelight and I'm doing my reading and I'm just thriving. I'm, you know, the snow's outside. I mean, am I a little sad? Yes, I feel a little sad actually. I just got hit with a wave of sadness, but then I'm choosing to be like, no, I'm so grateful that I get to be inside on this day where it's so snowy and like set the scene and stuff, even though I should probably tidy up my kitchen a little bit. Welcome to my kitchen. This is so serious. I set you guys up on a tripod. I almost finished the book and then I started to get really sad. Honestly, I've had a little bit of a hard day. Just want to be real about that. But then I remind myself how grateful I am for this life and everything. But I, you know, I did, I did tear up a little bit today. I just feel a little tinge of some seasonal depression. It's that time of year. And I also didn't do anything to help myself today. I didn't work out or anything, but you know, that's all right. We're going to make chicken cutlets. <laughs> I think I like my hair better like this with the headband like kind of down here. 
These are the cotton headbands from Amazon that I wear. I got ingredients to make chicken cutlets and I'm gonna eat it with the pasta that I made yesterday. A little cozy meal. Actually, it's not so little. This is definitely like an undertaking. Every time I say undertaking, I think of the undertaker. Is that like MMA or something? So what I picked up, I tried to get like my family recipe and the results are unclear on that. I texted my aunt and my mom and like, they both were like giving me like loose ideas, but I'm like, no, I like, I need like a set recipe. So I'm working on that. Maybe that'll be the next time. Otherwise I'm just doing what I found on the internet, which is you need eggs, chicken, Parmesan, which is fitting because I used that yesterday. Breadcrumbs, I got Italian seasoning ones. I should have just gotten plain panko, but they didn't have that. My mom was like, they're okay, but I prefer the plain and then like add my own seasoning. You know, it's all right, it's my first time. I'm simultaneously filming for TikTok. This is a little BTS. Trying to up my TikTok game. I'm also over the lighting in this kitchen. I'm over it. The chicken breast that I got is already thinly sliced. So I thought I'd have to slice it thinner, but honestly, I think I'm just going to do what they did in the videos and the recipes, which is pound it to make it a little thinner. And I guess that's what makes it like a chicken cut, like a true chicken cut is when it's like a little thinner. And I think that's why I like them so much because a big hunk of chicken, sometimes it just doesn't sit right with me. But this, I like the idea of this. Now I don't have like a mallet, so what am I gonna use instead? That's going to be the question of the hour. Should I use like a can, spicy mayo? Honestly, like this might work, similar to a mallet. I know the real chefs at home are gonna be quaking, but I just don't have all the tools yet. But eventually I'll have more. Okay, so I did egg and breadcrumbs and I'm going to dip the cutlets in and then fry them up. Also put on my apron. My mom got me this apron for the holidays. What we're wearing, let's fry up the cutlets. Right. Me trying to film while doing this is so stressful. Is this one done? Pressing it because I'm okay, we're gonna try this again. I just replenished the breadcrumbs. We're going in. Kind of reminds me of frying latkes. I mean, it's essentially the same thing, but it's chicken, so you want to make sure it's cooked. So that's why I've been using the thermometer. The fire alarm was going off so loudly that it gave me a fright. It pretty much happens every time I cook something, anything that's like intensive. I microwaved the pasta. I suppose I could take my apron off now. My chef duties are complete. I just have to clean up, and the cleanup's honestly not that bad. The cutlets are incredible. Like. They are cooked. The chicken is just cooked to perfection. No icks. I normally, like I said, get the ick with chicken and they're so flavorful. I think I really nailed it. Like, I'm very impressed with myself. Did I just create a new signature recipe for myself? Like, it wasn't my grandma's recipe, but she used to make chicken cutlets all the time, so. Shout out, RIP. That was so satisfying to do. We're back in the bathroom. I'm gonna wash my face and then we'll take a shower. If you saw the makeshift tripod I have you on, you might be a little scared. The dry skin under this eye just won't quit. I'm really annoyed by it. It's like eczema meets dry skin. I just don't know. It looks like I'm like perpetually crying. I could, you know, if you just see the side of my face, you're like, oh, cute, grody. This side, scary. I've been into this Sulwasu Gentle Cleansing Oil to take off my makeup. And then I wash again in the shower. I'm showering at night um, with like an, a real cleanser. This is more like makeup rem remover, at least for me. I mean, I'm sure you'd be fine if you just used this, but like, yeah. Oh, I did get something new that I wanted to show you. I just think these are so cool and smart. Got these for the holidays too. There's actually a few holiday gifts that I got behind me and around. These are the Clean Skin Club towels. I think I saw Emily Kaiser talking about them. Now I know environmental people are gonna be a little upset because it is a single use towel. But for my girlies who have trouble with their skin, this is genius. And I use a washcloth sometimes, but I feel like even those are never like 100% clean. But you just want something clean and untouched basically, um, cause you're like putting it on your face, you know? So you can't just use like the towel that you use from the shower, like, you know, the, the bacteria, it's no good. So these are the XL ones. My aunt got them for me for the holidays and I really like them. They're really thick. They're not like gonna just disintegrate on you. It's a nice thick towel and I just use it as I would like a washcloth. Take away my makeup. Sometimes I'll do like just makeup remover on one section of it and like use it just for makeup remover. 
And then sometimes I use it like just as a washcloth to kind of like wash my full face. I like this little container that I have them in. This is what it came in. It was like the gift set. It's an, a nice like little wooden box and then you could just throw the refills in there. So I can link these down below. Honestly, great gift idea because it's something that I don't want to have to buy for myself. But now that I like them, I'm probably going to be hooked and keep buying them. Love that. Yeah, the chicken cutlets were great. I can link the recipe I used down below. It was like this food blogger. I just Googled whatever recipe I'm looking for. Her name was Marciella in the kitchen. Her recipe called for white wine too. I didn't use that. Like white wine, maybe like vinaigrette or something. I don't know. I didn't. I skipped that. Everything else I did. They turned out great and I am going to work to perfect them. I want them thinner next time. I need to pound them or like cut them thinner. That's going to be my next project. I am working out in the morning so I'm not going to wash my hair right now. But what I will do, because I put it even in when my hair is dry as I do my Divi scalp serum. I seriously feel like this is helping me to grow out my hair. And it's feeling really nice and thick these days. I've been using it since September, just every day. Massaging that into the scalp. I'm gonna shower and get in bed. It's like 10, 15. I wanna finish the book. I'm really liking it now. 85% through and it's like at the point where it's it's all come to a head. You know that point in the thriller when you're like, ah, oh, yes. All of the setup is complete. We're here. I also like this scalp serum from Sephora. This is just like a hydrating one. It's good for the winter because, you know, my scalp is really, really dry. It's okay if my hair is kind of like that wet look because tomorrow when I work out, I'm going to stick it back with some gel. So, yeah, this is just a one-off one day in my life. I'm going to, like, keep vlogging the rest of my week separately. I have some other stuff going on this week. A little spoiler that I am not going to vlog. I'm going to save and probably po put in a video later if there's like gaps in my days moving forward that's kind of why because i'm saving the footage to show you guys in a little bit and it'll be worth it you know that's the thing about vlogging i feel like i'm showing my life in real time but sometimes i can't show things in real time just for of course my own safety and security but also just like i don't want to speak on things before they happen so coming up there's going to be a few gaps i suppose it will all come together and i would love to on that note do some more like sit down videos just to kind of bank some content, especially when tour starts back up. I would love to be a little ahead on videos. So if you guys have any sit down video requests that you would, <laughs> that's so like old school YouTube of me to say like sit down videos. But if you have any that you'd like to see, those are like favorites, Q and A's of course. I just did like the book, every book I read. Anything that I could do that I could film and not have it be timely like a vlog. I'm just, I'm putting my hair up just for the shower. I don't even know why I'm brushing it. But if you guys can think of anything like that, please let me know that you would like to see. So I always wanna do stuff that you guys wanna see, obviously. Let's get out of these clothes and let's take a shower. Actually, I wanna take my supplements. I'm taking my wellness formula because I know people are getting sick and we we don't have time for that. Seed, just I take a probiotic every day. Seed, you take two. Seed, you can sponsor me. We used to work together. I hate to. It's the worst part of the day, but you feel so good after. I'm in bed. I'm gonna finish the book now. I just feel like I do need to say thank you guys because the response to my last vlog, I was I genuinely like, I feel like I'm being so pick me sometimes. I don't feel like I am, but then sometimes it's interpreted that way of me like fishing for compliments or whatever, but I really am not. I just am trying to be very real and raw about my feelings and just like where I'm at on this channel. And I shared a lot in the last video. You guys are just, the comments are all so nice and positive and I just, I feel so grateful to have such a wonderful, supportive group of like core people who follow me. I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Very touched, I was crying a lot today. Let's finish this book. It's like 11 o'clock now. Now I'm really ready for bed. I finished the book. I'm gonna give it 3.5 stars. The ending was really cute. I definitely think you should read the first one first to kind of get the character set up if you haven't. I think it's like, they're good little thrillers. It's not too intense, it's not you're not gonna like really feel crazy emotions and i really do like the main character i think you really like her so and i feel like they're pretty popular books thank you guys for spending this snow day with me been trying to sleep with my nod pod this is what katie got me for secret santa amongst other things but it's like a weighted sleep mask and i've been really liking it i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye